It is Christmas Eve and I work today. Edwin was off. I took a mini nap after we eat lunch because I was so tired, but it is Christmas Eve. The last week was pretty rough. Exactly a week ago, I went to the ER because I was in a lot of pain like in my upper, well, I didn't really know where it was coming from, but I remember Wednesday night, I was in a lot of pain in my stomach like suddenly. And then the next day it, was still the same if not a little bit worse and then i also had a fever on top of that or i started getting a fever and then i had the body ache so i was like oh man so i went to urgent care and the lady who first screened me was like well do you think uh do you want to get covid testing and i was like well in my head i didn't want to unless i had to get it you know i was like well if you think i should get it then i you know then i will and she's like well do you think you have covid i'm like i don't think so because the fever and the body chills happened after my like, initial and it was a sharp pain in my right abdomen area so i knew like in my heart i was like i'm pretty sure i, I don't have covid but i understand how like you know in today's climate if you have a fever and body chills they automatically want you to get covid testing is what it seems like so i understood where she was coming from but i felt like she kept on trying to push me to get covid testing or she she wanted it seemed like she wanted me to give her some kind of confirmation or like affirmation saying like yeah i think i have covid or yeah i want to get covid testing but i was like pretty sure i didn't have it because the pain just started from my right side of the abdomen and then the next day was when i started getting the fever and the chills they didn't give me covid testing because when the pa came in and he asked me questions and stuff he's like go to the er because we don't have the you know the correct machines and stuff to do all like the testing on you you know like the ultrasounds and whatnot so he was like you like need to go today based on your symptoms do not like not go to the er like you need to go today so i was like okay went to the er ran a whole bunch of tests and then turns out that i have epiploic appendagitis or something like that it's when your appendix i think swells because your blood circulation suddenly gets cut off from it and so that's what called it caused the swelling and the inflammation which ultimately is what caused my fever so then i was like okay i feel a lot better because i was a little bit paranoid based off of the lady from urgent care that i saw who kept on trying to push like you want to get covid testing do you think you have covid and i was like i really don't think i have it but you know that was exactly a week ago and now um it's Christmas Eve. Edwin's parents are coming over for dinner and his brother as well. And we're cooking up a storm. Um, there's prime rib in the oven, which Edwin is cooking. And then I have to handle the rest. So yesterday I made some dessert. I made pecan pie pound cake, which you can see right over here. Uh oh. And then I also made lemon bundt cake, but unfortunately, this is what happened. It didn't make it out. I mean, I was able to like save a couple of pieces. And so it looks like this. I tried to do like the best that I could with it, but yeah. And then the rest, I've just like taken it out with my plastic glove and put it in here and we'll just spoon it out and eat it because it is delicious. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't look as good as it tastes. So um, I'm probably gonna throw out the rest. This is just crumbs. So I'm just trying to get as much out as I can. That way when we soak it, it won't be too crazy, but it's actually quite difficult to get some of these out. One of the side dishes that I'm making is broccolini. Um, as you can see here, there's broccolini. I have lemon slices, garlic, and some olive oil, and I'm just mixing it all around. Quick question though, does this mean that my broccolinis are bad? Cause look at how badly they are hunched over. I think broccolini is usually supposed to stand up like asparagus, but these are like so hunched over. It's kind of, weird um but what am i gonna do i bought them already they're so hunched like look at that one asparagus wrapped bacon it's ready for the oven so i just took the broccolini out of the oven and i realized that the garlic pieces are actually light blue i don't know if it'll come through in this um oh here it is 
look i thought it was mold but i'm like there's no way and i realized that maybe it's the lemon that turned the garlic blue it's so weird Look at him licking his mouth. So cute. That yummy? <laughs> oh, look at it. Bronx likes prime rib, huh? Aww. It's been a while since I've seen him eat that, like, that, um, deliciously, you know? Yeah. Was that good, Bronx? <laughs> yeah. You're such a good boy. While Edwin is feeding Bronx, I'm gonna start trying to clean up a little bit. There's not too much to clean up, but there are stuff. This is what's left over. Oh, look at Bronx is ready to eat. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, so we don't have much. I, we did have some persimmons, um, but the meat is pretty much all gone. We're gonna save the bones for Bronx. It's kind of gross, not gonna lie. That's all the fatty ugh, stuff. We have like no pound cake left. We have a little bit of the lemon ones left and then there's crab cakes. We have some broccolini, asparagus. Oh, and Edwin's mom brought dumplings and I don't know exactly what this is, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> can I see? <laughs> can I? <laughs> Where is he going? Bronx, can I see? Can mommy see? Oh, how cute! Let me see. Let me see. Can I? <laughs> he's like, Mom, you're in my way. Look at him, he's so cute. Can I see? Let me see your face. Wow, what is that? Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you gonna do a happy dance? Guess what Ellen's looking at? Wheels. We're looking at wheels for the X5. I am upstairs. I have one more present to wrap for Edwin. Let me show you guys what I got or what we got wrong. So it's like usual stuff, but I'm gonna wrap it so that he can unwrap it. Edda says pork yum sticks. It's kind of like beef jerky consistency, or not jerky, I'm sorry. Um, you know like those meat sticks, like Oberto's and Slim Jim's. It's a little bit pricey for one. It's $1.99 for a stick. He'll scarf it down in like two seconds. This is also one of his favorites. It's uh, from Farm Fresh Pet Foods, Canadian bacon recipe treats for dogs. And it's little meat sticks, um, smaller than the Edda Says ones, but he will also scarf these down. Last but not least, his other favorite are these freeze-dried bully sticks from Vital Essentials. Unfortunately, when his saliva starts biting into it, it smells pretty bad, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? I did kind of like a crappy job, but these are the sticks. But there are those. I just wanted to do kind of like a quick haul on stuff that I got. Well, actually there's more stuff, but I'll just do what I brought up here. I have been trying my best to drink some more water and uh, it's a little bit difficult because I just don't, I'm not much like of the, I'm just not the type of person to like force myself to drink more than I want to. So if I get thirsty, I'll drink it, you know? But I've been more conscious of trying to be more healthy and um, 
yeah so i bought this water bottle off of amazon super cheap i think this was maybe 15 dollars or so i'll link it down below um if you guys want to buy it but um it's awesome because they come in different colors i think there's like purple pink maybe light blue dark blue i can't remember exactly it says stay hydrated at all hours I don't know if you guys can see and then it kind of gives you like a time breakdown of how much water you should drink by what time so it starts at 8 a.m and then when you get to 12 p.m it's time for you to refill it and then it goes again from 2 p.m to 6 p.m here so here it is just kind of like a general guideline i find that this is more helpful for me to drink more water i mean i know i didn't get a christmas tree but i wanted something to commemorate 2020 even though it's been a horrible year um hopefully we can all look back and be like remember the time when you know so on amazon i got this christmas ornament i haven't put it together yet and there's really nowhere to hang it i think i'll put it on display but it's a Christmas ornament that pretty much summarizes 2020. I mean, you'll see stuff like travel ban, food delivery, social distancing, Amazon, yes. What's your temperature, staying six feet apart, all that stuff. So I thought it'd be cool, you know, when years to come, we can look back and, and be like, oh, remember the time in 2020 when the world was crazy? Revlon, uh, what is it called? It's a salon one step hair dryer and volumizer. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on this and so I just was like, why not? I do like to blow dry my hair once in a while, uh, not all the time, but when I do, it's kind of difficult to have a brush and try to blow dry it. It's just tiring for me and everything. Edwin did offer to buy me a Dyson, like the blow dryer and the air app, like that, that whole system, whatever it's, it is. I can't even, I can't. I can't get myself to justify buying that expensive of a hair tool. It's just, I can't do it. And then my mother-in-law, it's so funny because I remember how I bought these guys off of Amazon, but she um, said she went into like a Korean store. It must have been like a makeup store or something. And she saw these and thought of me. So I got one of these. This is super cute. I mean, I can't complain. I'll use them, you know? And then this one's like a cheetah or is it a leopard print? Super cute. She also got us, what is this? Plan 36.5 Perfume Body Care Set Violet and Musk. Hmm. It's cool. I've never heard of this brand. Oh, it must be a Korean brand. Because it's in Korean. Okay. Let's open it up and see. Oh, cool. Awesome. We can always use body wash and body lotion, especially if it smells good. This is what it looks like. Hi. Hi. You're so relaxed. You're so cute. Are you a little baby? Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> are you a little baby? Yes, you are a little baby. He's so cute. Look at Bronx right now. He's trying to get up. You know exactly how to get up. Don't act like you don't know. Come on. He's like, help me. I'm gonna pretend to help him up. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a push. Whoops. Should mommy give you a hand? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look, I'm barely pushing. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you <laughs> He's so 
so funny. You want to say good night, everybody? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.